Oh, welcome guys. <coughs> welcome guys. Uh, yeah, so in this video, uh, I want to talk about the serial sum. Okay, so uh, before I start, uh, please subscribe to my channel. So uh, this video, the main idea of this video is prove this idea. Basically, if you have a series, uh, series, right? If you have a series, basically converge to A, then you can define the uh, average. So basically, this is called SN. You just sum from AK, you just sum from A1, A2 up to AN and divide by N. And uh, the idea is that uh, the n goes to infinity as n will be a. Okay, so let's talk about, let's talk first about uh, a k. Suppose you have a series, it's called a Cicero summable, means that the least guy converge. Right, so this count somehow like this uh, Cicero sum generates this definition. So let's say you have some series, and then you average, you just first compute, for compute average and check whether it converge or not. Okay, so for example, uh, if a n is minus one to the n, then the, if you write down, you get minus one, one, minus one, one, keep going, right? And then you summation, you get minus one, zero, minus one, zero. And then you do the C zero, then you get a minus one divided, uh, the first term is still minus one, the second term is a zero divided by two, so zero. The third term is minus one divided by three, and the third, first term is zero, and uh, minus one divided by four, zero. So, I mean, uh, obviously that, uh, yeah, I mean, Oh really? Oh sorry, it's minus one divided by, sorry, it's divided by five. Okay, so but uh, you know that when n goes to infinity, then you approach to zero. Okay, so uh, this idea say that uh, a n approach to some uh, will not converge, right? But uh, this guy converge. So it means that this series is uh, c zero summable. Okay, so c zero summable is a generalization of the converge. Basically, you you lose your converge idea. Uh, you you. Uh, yeah, you lose your converge idea into the average. Okay, but this, so this idea should uh, coincidence with the, what I've already said, if that your original series converge to A, then the, your C the your, then this series should be C0 summable and then it's converged to A, okay. Okay, so let's prove it. So in order to prove it, we just use S and minus A, right? So S and minus A will be, uh, yeah, AK minus AK from one to N, right, because yeah, obvious. So you take the absolute value, and then you get the up to n turn, right? You get, uh, you can here, here. And then so first we can pick epsilon greater divided by two greater than zero, then by definition, since a n approach to a, so there is when uh, large enough, there exists m, when can greater than m, you get a k minus a divided by two, as uh, less than epsilon divided by two. Okay, so now I mean, uh, that means that uh, uh, up to m, right? Up to m, m turn. The first m turns uh, will be preserved, but the last m, the the last m up to n minus m turn can be divided and can be suppressed by epsilon divided by two, right? So s n minus a will be this guy, and it will be this guy plus this guy, right? Uh, since we can uh, ignore this m. Okay, so finally we can let n large enough, then this guy can be also suppressed by epsilon divided by two. Okay. So now means that the total will less than epsilon. So we proved the idea. So basically, we first use the converge property of original a n to bound the first m turn and the final. Uh, sorry, the bound bounds the last m up to n turn. And then for the first uh, remaining turn, we use this one over to n to suppress. So this is a common. Uh, this is the very good exercise in the like the uh, real analysis. I mean, or the advanced analysis. Okay, uh, that's it. I will see you guys in the uh, last video and hope you guys subscribe to my channel. Thanks.